Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Today we're going to be starting a series about building a completely custom PC case. Now this won't necessarily be solely for the purpose of gaming, it will be more for the purpose of having a computer that's good to travel around. So for example, my younger brother likes to bring a computer to his friend's house. Uh, I usually try to make sure that I have something for him that he can do that and that's pretty much what he does. Now, for example, me that wants to go to some of these nice tech conventions someday in the future, maybe next year, maybe two years down the road, CES seems like a wonderful place I'd love to go to. I think that having a computer that would be good for taking and traveling would be something that would be a great option. Because currently you look out on the market, there are no PCs out there or no computer cases out there that are really good for traveling around. You have some stuff that you have to carry, you have some stuff that's really small, but what I'm looking for is something that supports full-size ATX motherboards and a monitor all in one case. Now obviously there are going to be some height restrictions and of course restrictions on what cards and stuff I can put on there, but in the end, the system is going to have a full ATX size motherboard, hopefully this case, be supported for, uh, as I said, a full ATX size motherboard. I'm probably going to have like a Ryzen 2700X in there, so probably 32 gigs of RAM, a nice graphics card, probably like an RX 580, and we're going to build this whole case probably from scratch. So here's, as I said, a couple things that we need to make sure we include. Number one, it needs to be light. Obviously, when you're carrying stuff around, you don't want a heavy computer. This would mean that it would probably need to be made out of aluminum. Obviously, that's the best uh, abil or best resource that's available that isn't conductive and of course is not going to be super heavy. So the big question is of course how are we going to do this? Well what I'm thinking about doing is doing more of a suitcase design. So rather than having a big bunky computer or big chunky computer that you carry around, we'd have a suitcase that you pretty much just walk around with and it would be about the same size. One side would have the monitor, probably with a protective acrylic coating on the side or protective acrylic sheet on the one side and then on the other side you'd have a ability to see the hardware and I'm thinking the case would probably be approximately about this big um, so they basically would allow for the motherboard to sit up on one side meanwhile the monitor is on the other side and you could pretty much get full usage out of all your components now the main major restriction of course is going to be graphics card width so we also have to keep that in mind and I have to do a little bit more measurements so today I want to introduce the product to you and show you actually some of my plans that I've gotten so far. So this is actually the monitor that's going to be going in there. I purchased the monitor. It's, an, it's like an old Dell 1080p monitor, but for the purpose of video editing and for, obviously this may be for gaming, but it's not really super high tech, especially with a budget of mine that's super small. This project is probably going to be my most expensive project. While it doesn't seem like a lot, as I said, I'm a poor channel that doesn't make really any money off of ad revenue. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of get started on this project. I've already invested a little bit of money in it, so I have to finish it now. But this is probably going to be a couple of video series, maybe 10 or so videos, about each step in me doing this. So I'm sure you all are interested what I actually have planned. So I actually have some plans that I've drawn up. And uh, yes, I have some plans. And uh, these I've been working on for, I don't know, the last couple, I believe the last couple months. Uh, so this is something that I've been working on. And here it is. So this is pretty much what I have uh, drawn up as in design and as planning. So here, let me go over what I was thinking. So as you can see, first off, right off the bat, I should have a camera aimed up above. And I might scoot this over a little bit so it's a little bit more center. Scoot over a little bit. So here's what we got. First off, we have the case on the front. That's what this is. Um, I have drive bays that are removable on the front. Uh, that way, if you have stuff that you want to get off pretty quickly, um, but still, they'd have to, of course, be unplugged from the back. I'm not sure how I do the super advanced dry bays. I might have to steal some from some other cases or something. Uh, this is going to be really interesting because it's not going to be like, you know, I'm, I'm designing this whole thing from scratch. I'm just going to try using stuff where I can. So the next thing to keep in mind is I want radiator support. That's another thing I wanted really bad was that, well, yes, you probably couldn't put a custom loop in here. It would be absolutely amazing to have liquid cooling support, at least in radiator support. So... I have right here, this is the motherboard, I don't know if you guys can see that, this would be a full size, ATX size motherboard that would sit right here. And so that would be what would go there. Um, as you can see it's got room for two graphics cards. Uh, as I said with big graphics cards we need to make sure that we are aware that 
They like to bounce around, especially when you're throwing something that's in a suitcase. It's probably meant for travel. So I put some supporting brackets here. Obviously, these cards may be longer or shorter, so I may end up having to rotate the supporting brackets on the side. So another thing I want to do is cable management. So I have uh, motherboard connectors. I have the power supply here. And obviously this is going to be right up against the acrylic sheet, so I'm aware that the power supply uh, may run into a little bit of issues. I may end up rotating that out around uh, so that, that way the fan right here, I think this is a 120mm fan, uh, can go a little bit more airflow in there as well. I also may, having, I also may have to end up rotating the fan so it's uh, pulling air instead of pushing air in because that may not be best for airflow. So what I did is, as I said, we have a motherboard here. Now I just did X570 on there because I'm really hyped for the AMD stuff. Um, hopefully it's good. And uh, pretty much the graphics card's got two graphics cards. Um, I don't even know what I named these. They're just they're just nice graphics cards I grew out. I don't even or drew out. I don't even know what I called them. Um, but that's the two graphics cards. We've got drives right here. We've got a power uh, like a, just the regular power extensions. Um, we'll just call it thingy. Um, and that way I can power the monitor and the computer itself. Uh, I've got a little bit of space here to take all the I.O. on the back of the motherboard, bring it up front, or go through and plug it into the monitor in the back. As you can see up here, this is what I drew out. I'm um, looking down the top. We've got three 120mm uh, uh, fan options. I've also got room for like um, putting like some, uh, what is the right word? Some screen on there to protect from dust. And also we'll have the uh, handle, as you can see here, that will be able to carry it. So this is probably going to be um, slightly bigger than the regular ATX size motherboard. Um, also, as I said, on the front, um, we've got just, that's kind of like a small design of what I did. And then that would kind of be what it would look like from the side with the monitor. Uh, I may have to end up po po punching a little hole for the monitor itself to see in and turn it on. But that's basically what I'm thinking. Obviously, you've got you know, liquid cooling support. You probably would have liquid cooling support down here in case you want to liquid cool your graphics cards. Maybe one intake fan here, which is kind of what you see there. And that would basically allow for airflow to come in um, and cool down the PSU. And then I might have air out back here as well. It may be a little bit more difficult because I'm trying to push air this way. It's kind of what I came up with the design. So that's pretty much what the you know plan is for the for this case. Obviously, I have a couple more tools to get. I need to get a Dremel and I need to get some uh, metal cutters. But uh, and I also need to get a little bit more aluminum. But this is pretty much the plan for the summer. Now, obviously, this may not be a video that we do every day or something like this line, maybe once a week updates, but I think that this is a very interesting concept, and if this turns out to be such a good popular hit, uh, I definitely will continue this on to doing other cases, not just this one, um, but for currently, we may start out with just working on this. So my next step in this would probably to be to go through and design this thing out of cardboard. Now you're going, why are you gonna do it out of cardboard? Well. Obviously, it's not going to end up there. That's not the final, uh, the goal. It's, it's clearly not. But cardboard is really good for getting exact measurements. Obviously, if I wanted to, you know, getting a physical copy without having to go through and spend all the money and time uh, cutting and, you know, dremeling down metal and doing all that, having a physical thing that we can, you know, put parts in and see if they fit, to figure out the, you know, see it in person and kind of adjust distances from there will be really good. So my next goal is probably going to be in the next video to do somewhat of cardboard, out of cardboard, build the whole uh, thing and the whole case so that that way it uh, looks good. And I guess it's a really quick and easy way to see what we want to do from there. It allowed me to adjust a couple things. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Um, this will probably be something that you should probably continue to subscribe for if you're interested in seeing this come to uh, tuition. Yeah, this is going to be hopefully a cool little project over the summer. I hope to have it finished by the end of summer. And this is, you know, I'm really excited for this because this is going to be really cool and it's something I can actually use. I've got a CPU set aside. I've got a bunch of components for, I've got a power supply set aside. I've already bought parts, some of the parts for the um, computer itself and then I've bought stuff for the case. So this should be something that's really, really exciting to uh, see and I'm really happy for it. So subscribe if you're interested. If not, have a wonderful day and uh, I'll get working on this cardboard design